We are in an orchard in Merced County, just uh, up on Highway 59 on the north side of town. And what we're looking at is uh, leaf-footed plant bug damage that we see on almond. As you can tell as we get a little bit closer to the almond, you can see the gumming that's coming out of the hole. Uh, it tends to sometimes have a pigtail in shape. Uh, at this time of year, since we're in mid-May and it's been a little bit cooler and we haven't hit shell hardening stage, this actually will lead to the death of the embryo and drop from the tree. Leaf-footed plant bug is very hard to find in these trees. In fact, it tends to be very elusive, uh, often find, becoming very problematic to determine when it's going to strike and where it's going to strike. And a lot of the control measures which involve broad-spectrum pesticides are applied usually in a reactive measure versus a proactive. To confirm the diagnosis with leaf-footed plant bug, all we really have to do is cut the nuts in half. Um, as you can see, the kernels that were uh, fed upon are distorted. Um, also, they tend to be pretty gummy as well. If you look a little bit more closely to the inside of, of the almond against the shell, you can see a, a dark circle, which is actually the entry wound from the mouth parts of the leaf-footed plant bug. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's one here. A little bit more easily in the field, if you don't want to cut the nut open, all you essentially have to do is cut back from where the gumming is located, and you can also see the, the entrance hole as well on the top part of the almond. Severe damage in an orchard can occur to leaf-footed plant bug, as evident by this case. Um, one thing to keep in mind as you develop your insect control strategies are to select products at the right time of the year or with a combination of other products to prevent mite flare-ups, especially when using broad spectrums.